when you're starting out, you're doing everything on a shoestring budget. And so I, I think we actually uh, circumvented the, the, the loading dock fees and we were running into the convention center with security chasing us, pushing a, uh, a portable dishwasher. And uh, our booth setup was a portable dishwasher with keyboards and mice in it. And we had a bin of water where you could type in a, on a keyboard underwater uh, and see it type on the laptop screen. And the whole booth was just a giant photo of a keyboard in water, uh, a 10 foot by 10 foot photo backdrop behind us. And it was amazing to just see people stop in their tracks by that image and the fact that you had keyboards and a dishwasher, it's just like, does not compute. The experience was incredible because we had multi-million dollar booths all around us and people would walk right by those booths, stop in their tracks at our uh, shoestring budget booth with uh, our dishwasher and our bucket of water. And uh, as I said, we were 20 people deep the entire trade show. It was a great trade show experience. We'd done a press release, so the phone was ringing off the hook and we'll talk about kind of pre-trade show strategies, press release being one of them, but you know, that was our experience that you can actually on a shoestring budget, start your trade show experience. And of course we've evolved since then, but a lot of the practices that we keep today in terms of our trade show strategy really develop from that, that economics model. When we go to trade shows, we share rooms that started as an economic necessity and now it's become part of our culture. Now, now to be fair, that allows us to stay at some nicer places. So uh, people are willing to share rooms and we operate on the buddy system and it's really strengthened our culture, even though that started as an economic necessity.